This is the voice of Paul Byrell. I thought you might enjoy seeing where the author of the Master Book of Herbalism spends his herbal time. And when you purchase herbs from us, this is where they come from, all these jars. And if I'm going to work with herbs, I'm able to purchase them, which I do, right from here as well. For me, it's very convenient. We have something like 220 different botanicals that we work with. And I have them here on these shelves. And it's wonderful. Normally, the curtains are closed to keep the light off. But I wanted you to be able to see them. This is my work area coming up next. I have a wonderful stainless steel table. There's a hanging file at this end of it. And there I have my records of the herbs where I purchased them. I have the labels for the packages. And I have my system for knowing when I need to reorder. And then I have a wooden work table as well. Sitting on that at one end is a mill. It's all stainless steel. <clears throat> it's very handy. A little noisy, but it does a wonderful job of grinding the herbs and, and shredding them into tiny, into changing them from being too large into very small, very fine. Um, it's not the best, but the best is much larger and more expensive. But it's a perfect size for a small herbalist shop like this. I have a microwave, so I have instant hot water when I need it. Tools in the drawers, tools hanging up. A little, sorry, a little gap there when I turned the camera. And then coming up over here are very interesting shelves. More equipment and these books that you see on the shelves, those represent the material that I need to keep at hand. I have two groups of material. There's all the material for the Master Book of Herbalism program. I have a bound version of that here. Um, there's a lot, <laughs> quite a, there's really quite a bit. And then I also have um, the three very large volumes of, of material, which continues the research that I did originally when I wrote the Master Book of Herbalism. And then when I wrote the Compendium of Herbal, of Herbal Magic. And now I have, well, when I wrote the Compendium, I had information on 300 and some herbs. And now I have all of that, but my total number of species that I have are collected, documented material um, from not hearsay, but from uh, reputable sources of, of about 2,400 different herbs, different species. It is um, a process which I love. See if I can roll this camera closer. All sorts of things in around the corner. I have some Lucite cases where we sell small herbs and gemstones, ranging from little teeny diamonds, which are just points, not carrots, but points. Um, and other things that when I'm making amulets or selling material for amulets, um, we can add stones as well. And sometimes I use gemstones, which I add to herbal formulas that are specific for ritual work, 
for full moons, for things like that. So I have everything I need here for wonderful toys. Um, jars for storage, scales. I have a balance beam, but I use my digital electronic scales, which weigh to a much finer level more accurately. I think of this space sometimes, and I remember when I was quite young, growing up, and I had an area in the bedroom sectioned off with bookshelves, so that it formed a small, almost like a little room, and that room was the prototype for this. I didn't know what I was going to be when I grew up, because I'd never heard of one or known about it. But I wanted to be a priest and an herbalist. And now I am one, and thanks to all of you who have bought my books, I've continued to grow and learn. And I love my life with all these herbs. It's wonderful. I hope that someday you will visit us here. But in the meantime, you can find these herbs in our store. We have links to it from our website. That's the easiest way. And that's That's it. Normally the chair I'm sitting on now is parked over there by those tables. And I can work away and fill orders and make formulas for people and have a wonderful time. Life is a blessing, but it only works if we make it work. Thank you all and bless you.